Unloading your stuff. Do you mind? I am. Um... Well, tell your parents I said hello. Well, I, I probably won't be seeing them in a month or so. So. so... You asked me to tell them, but I mean, you'll probably be seeing them before I do, so you could say hi to them for me. So, did your parents drop you off? Yeah, but they had to shoot off pretty quickly. Oh. What is it? Just a little bit impersonal, don't you think? Knickers. Uh, um, you're still unpacking. Well, I'm pretty much done. Really? I ran out of room in my drawers, okay? Drawers. Underwear. Hi, you must be Lucy. Yeah. Hi. Are you, um, Ollie's mum. Don't worry, we're just leaving. So we'll see you in a couple of weeks' time then, when you come and visit us. Um, I've left some cakes and a six-pack of carling in the fridge for you. Just don't forget to call us. Um. Ice another dragon touch. Try teaching it flamethrower. Okay, thanks. Okay, we'll see you soon, honey. See ya. See ya. Bye. <laughs> so, you're Ollie then? Yeah. I thought you'd finished unpacking. Yeah, I had. Do you want to help unpacking, Ollie? Sure.
Where'd Ash go to? Yeah, I was wondering that. Maybe he's just... packing. Typical. What's that? Nothing. Sure you don't want to go? No, it's okay, thanks. I think I'd be rubbish. Can't even see the health bar. There isn't one. Or, um, an ammo gauge. There isn't one. Is, is that what it's called? An ammo gauge? Yeah, it's... Well, there isn't one. Oh. My little brother plays Halo a lot. I thought they all had stuff like that. <laughs> Most of them do. It's just... Well, this gun doesn't need an ammo gauge. So, there isn't one. Are there any other kinds of guns? No. Or a health bar? No. What do you get then? An Aperture Science handheld portal device. Primarily used for quantum tunneling. By creating two different portals through which objects can pass through simultaneously. It also has a zero point energy field manipulator which will help move objects needed for problem solving, which should help with any future amateur science product testing. What can't it do then? Well, can't tell you how much health you've got left. It happens. <laughs> Come in! Sorry, I shouldn't be inviting people into your room. <laughs> no problem. Thank heavens come in from me too. I started seeing the importance of studying English. My gap year was so beneficial. Hi, I'm Hannah. Oh, hi, and I'm Lucy, and this is Ollie. <laughs> Do you want a hand unpacking? Uh, yeah, if you're offering. It's only a couple of things. My friends are bringing the rest of my stuff in a few days. Sure, no problem. Sure. Aren't you going to keep Ollie company? Wasn't planning to, no. Why not? I don't know. He seems a bit... you know. What? Dull? <laughs> That's a bit rude. I'm not planning to say it to his face. I'm just politely avoiding contact with him. For a year? No. He might quit after the first term. <laughs> Maybe his mum will get sick and he'll have to quit even sooner. Never say never. I can't believe how antisocial you're being. Why not? Just because I'm not desperate for everyone to like oh, me, doesn't Listen, Yuck Year, I just spent what felt like a billion hours listening to a guy talking about a game that no one has ever kissed a girl has even heard of. We're going to have to live with each other for the next year, so you go in there, take one for the team, and make a new friend. What are you going to do? We were just discussing what to do for dinner. I thought we could order in a pizza, have a great meal the first night. Yeah, that sounds nice. Happened out there. You know how when you meet someone you think you get a reasonably good first impression of them? And then they do something to shatter that impression you had. It not only surprises you, but it also makes you question your ability to read people. Like, when someone yells at you out of the blue for no reason. Sort of. This is a little embarrassing, but you know when you forget someone's name and it's too awkward to ask them it because you've been talking to them for a while? It's Lucy. Don't worry about it. I was actually talking about the guys. Oh, um, the one going on about his gap year is Ash and the Game Boy is Ollie. Do they not get on or something? They just need to open up a little to each other. There's something I don't understand. How something the size of a bread bin can produce projectiles that not only bends the law of physics, but manages to colour code them as well. And how like you can fall 15 storeys high and still be fine. Actually, that was an issue that came up in playtesting. You know how they solved it? How? Well, you see those leg brakes? Yeah. Well, they basically just put those on her and everyone was like, 
Okay, fair enough then. What? That's not how leg braces work. Yeah, I know. It's all bull. I had braces on my teeth when I was a kid. And that didn't mean I could, like, eat through buildings or something. Yeah, I mean, I didn't even get halfway through a table leg before it broke. You wanna go? Do you ever worry that playing too many video games affects your grasp on reality? Not really, no.